I, I guess I don't think of myself particularly as a monumental sculptor, although I've done done that. But I but I think in terms of what has been difficult for me was um, as a female artist was the topics when because I was using sculpture as a means to communicate, my topics were very personal and full of emotion. And that was where I ran into trouble. People were scared of them <laughs> when they first came out into the public. They're like, what are you doing? You can't show that intimacy, I guess. Um, people were used to art being more um, cold and distant and just a composition. Um, and I was touching on emotional issues that I think, it, again, is a female thing. <laughs> and I think the male dominant view of art and what art is tended to shy away from what I was doing. I mean, to the point where I had people saying, why would you show those fat women? How can you honor those ugly women? in your pieces because um, the idea of pretty art were you know, mo skinny model women. If you were going to sculpt a woman, it's supposed to be what these concepts of female is. And I wasn't sculpting that. I was sculpting something different. And I had to really push my way through to um, have them be seen with some positive light. Being a female sculptor, and I would have to say a female artist, that the difference between sort of female artist and male artist, and this of course is generalizations, but I think it's very true with this group, is that the topics that we choose to um, make are very different than what male artists choose to make. This piece is called Child and she is presenting her newborn uh, baby to the, the world, the universe. It's kind of um, a ceremony that happens in Pueblo societies of um, naming the child, and you name the child by presenting it to the, to the uh, dawn of the day, because it's kind of like um, the world is opening its eyes on that day, and when it first sees this new child, it will send some sign or some, yeah, some message that will tell you what the child's name is. So it's kind of an honoring of new life and um, uh, awa awakening, not just for this new life, but for the world to receive this life. 